Your tea is coming. Something that I find really magical about tea is that this little leaf can come into your cup, into your glass, and it can provide this deep connection to people, to the world, every sip you take, which I think is the exact thing that happens with Marilyn's work. Tonight we are joined by the tea expert and connoisseur Jenny Dodd um, for a very special curated art and tea pairing. Sometimes a collector sees something in the work that can explain it to me in a way that I never would think of, and that is Jenny's app. I've been so desperately wanting to do this for such a long time to pair tea with your paintings. The first tea is an oolong from Nepal. I chose this painting to go with this tea. And I specifically cold brewed it because it transforms it, it transmutes. I taste tea in color. This tea you're drinking tastes red to me, so that it was very literal for me. I think there's something very abstract about the connection as well. I've done quite a few pieces like this, a four-part piece. This fourth part is telling something that you wouldn't know about. The history of tea has been part of Buddhist tradition, as part of a meditative, contemplative process. There is that way of revealing something that's unknown through sitting with tea. And I read this quote about how Marilyn sees color and then she chases it. And I thought that was the most beautiful thing I'd ever read. And, it, and that also made me think about the way that I feel about tea because when you have that like one magical cup of tea, then you start, when's the next cup of tea gonna be like that? You start chasing it in the same way. This painting you're gonna be having with green puar tea. It has been aged in a green mandarin peel. There's like this very literal color translation because the puar tea is kind of this earthy kind of feeling tea. This is the color that I feel when I drink this tea. I'm going to talk about Tidal Pool. I knew I really wanted to include the aged water fairy tea. When I taste Chinese oolongs, I taste yellow. And this is clearly not yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't really tap into why I felt so strongly that it had to go with this particular painting. And then it occurred to me, this is a tea from this very rocky climate, and the water runs over these rocks, and this just feels like, like kind of that mineral flow of the water over the rocks. The oculus was used to bring light into dark areas. An interesting connection that you bring is that way of revealing through this architectural element to like shine the light on truth. I think it's amazing. I'm in awe. <laughs> so now that everyone has, this is a very special tea because this is now the studio tea for Maryland. The tea that you are drinking is a white tea from Nepal. This is Maryland's new series where it's not just an oculus any longer, it's oculi. And so she named the painting Oculi Chia. This is Marilyn's tea. As a grouping, I feel like they, I mean, they make up something completely new and unexpected. I do want to say thank you all for coming tonight.